every year I have a video in which I'm showing you DIY and handmade items that are really quick and easy to make right before Christmas, even if you're watching this a week before Christmas. And handmade just is so beautiful because it's something that you don't buy, you can personalize to your recipient. And I think nothing says I care about you and I love you more than something that you made with your own hands. So let me show you what I have in my gift basket. Obviously, this is a little bit more oriented towards feminine female recipients. So this is something for everybody who is in the kitchen baking or um, preparing food. And these are fabric bowl covers. I have one from linen that you can actually moisten and it keeps salads fresh in bowls and it keeps doughs from drying out. And then I have another one that's reversible. However, you can't see it so much in this one because it's the same fabric on the inside and the outside, but it's double fabric. And the video for how to make these is in the description box below this video, but I'm also linking them up here. So this is the first one you can maybe talk to somebody in their kitchen and find out what kind of sizes they need, what kind of bolts they use more often, and then really customize it. So that's the first item that is also a really cool stocking stuffer. Next up is something that's a little bit more unusual, and this one is a quince jelly. Now, you may not have quince, and you may not want to make or can't make quince jelly, but any jar of your homemade jelly, raspberry, blackberry, you know, there are so many different types of jellies that you can make or jams that are really easy because everybody loves a jar of jam, homemade from your own kitchen, and so this is another one. You can also put another piece of fabric around it and tie a nice ribbon around it, and that's gonna be really pretty. And I think that's always a really good gift to gift. Anybody who's working with their hands needs something to keep their hands softened, and I have a hand cream that I absolutely love because it has lanolin in it and lanolin is a wax that comes from sheep and it's not really an oil and it's very similar to the human skin and the oils and it just keeps your hands so moist and soft and it's really good for calluses and very dry hands in the winter which I always get because I'm always in the kitchen I'm always working and you can even add essential oils and make it smell really good this one has a bit of lavender, so mm, that's really good, especially when I put it on my hands at night. And then I always love to reuse jars, so this is not a very fancy jar. You can get really fancy, nice, cute, pretty jars online and um, make that even look a little prettier and put a little handmade label on it. And that's a really good gift for anybody who's working with their hands. Back to the kitchen, if you know anybody who loves using sourdough, what you can do is, if you're a sourdough person, you can get your own sourdough starter and dehydrate it and put it in a little package like this one. I have a video in which I'm describing how to dehydrate your sourdough starter and how to rehydrate your sourdough starter. So you can send either the video or you kind of print out the instructions and send them along with it. And that gets somebody going with sourdough pretty quickly instead of having to cultivate a sourdough starter in their own kitchen. And maybe you have a particularly good starter that's really healthy and really robust and you want to have somebody have the same experience and say, hey, I've got this great starter. So this is also something that's really easy to send in the mail or put them in your gift basket. Now for this next one, this is something that I use pretty much every night and it's a DIY face wash. It has herbs in it and it has some essential oils in it and has very mild Castile soap in it. And I even sometimes use it to remove eye makeup if I have any on. Um, it does separate a little bit, so I just give it a good shake and that's why you see a lot of bubbles and uh, 
so forth up here. So, but that one is a really nice one. You can also customize it a little bit to the recipient's skin concerns. And again, in my video, I talk about what herbs and what essential oils goes go well for what kind of skin concern. But this is also a really nice one that is just a great gift to gift. Along those lines, and this one is getting a little bit empty, I have a cleansing grains that is in the same video. And I often use that just with a little squirt of this. I pour some in my hand and then I add a squirt of the DIY face wash and it has clay in it and it has some grains in it and it exfoliates your skin and makes it really glow. So this is another one that is just a really good gift to gift. And to finish up your skin routine, this is my DIY anti-aging facial serum. There we go. And this one is also really good for rejuvenating your skin and replenishing your skin and fighting wrinkles and fine lines and all these things. So I put it in a little recycled jar with a dropper, a little bottle, and it has a really nice smell because it has lavender in it. And um, that's another one. Again, you can put a little cute little label on it and wrap it up or put it in your gift basket. If there wasn't anything that you liked or worked for you, I have, because I do this every year, I have one from last year right here and I have another one from the year before. So I'm sure that you will find gifts in there. Thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays and I'll see you in the next video. This is my DIY anti-aging face, fa <laughs> if I can say it right. <laughs>